Alright, so what it does is it starts out with a clear home. All of this does is clears the main screen. So uh, normally when you start a program, it, you've got the execute program on the screen already. So if you were to hit enter, that would still be there. So by clearing uh, the home screen, it's just getting rid of any existing text that's already on the screen. Um, next, uh, the second line of code is zero store to x. As you can see, I'm using the greater than sign to indicate the arrow. Uh, that's just easier for me to write than drawing an actual arrow. So, just as long as you can remember that, it should be should be good. So all that's saying there, zero store to x is uh, I'm setting the variable x to zero. Uh, I could be using any variable I want. I could be, use, be using a. I could be using c. I could be using theta. It doesn't matter. It's just I have to I have to set the variable to a number so that I know what it's going to be when I start the program. All right, the next line is label one, and what that's telling the calculator is like it's labeling an area, li literally in the in the program, so that later in the program I can say go to this label, and it can you know jump back up there and finish the you know the remaining lines of code. Because you use a variable, I'll explain this later, but you don't use quotations when you're displaying a variable. Uh, quotations indicate text, so if you don't have them then it will display that variable's number. If I had quotes, it would just display uh, it would just display x as opposed to what x equals. Uh, following that, I've got a line that says x plus 1 store to x. So I'm taking whatever x is, which is 0, since that w that's what I set it at the start of the program. It's adding 1, and it's storing that to x. So now x equals 1. Uh, once I use I use the go to function after that to go back up, jump up to label one, and it's going to run through the code again. But note it's not going past the zero sort x. So when it jumps up, x now equals one as opposed to zero. So it's going to display one then, then it's going to add one, so it's going to be two. Jump up, repeat, it'll display two, add up to three, and basically it's just counting. So it's going to count all the way down the screen uh, indefinitely until you end the program. Um, all right. The next section I've got written up is uh, it shows it starts out with clear home, but then I've just compressed the code a little bit. If you put the the colon out, you can in, do multiple lines of code uh, in, in in a single line. This just saves space in the program. Um, you might not want to do it when you first start out. It's just I was showing you that you could do it if you wanted to. Clear the home, similar similar to the first part. Uh, X is going to be set to zero, same thing as above, and then you know label one. Now what we have here, when you display, when you use a display function, you know, like you saw above, it it runs down the calculator. So it's going to be on the first line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line, sixth line, seventh line, eighth line, and then it'll just keep going down. So it it'll be taking up a large part of your screen. So by using an output, I can tell it exactly where I wanted to output something on my screen. Uh, the dimensions for the the screen are eight spaces down and sixteen across. And the the y variable or the downside is actually first as opposed to second, like a normal graph would be. So this is going to display on the third line. Oops, going to display on the third line and four over. And then, as I said earlier, you have the quotes here to indicate that you're displaying text and not a variable. So I'm just displaying your number. Um, and then end the parentheses. That's just good programming. Um, output and then I'm going to do a line under that and seven spaces over and then I'm going to display the variable so notice how there's no no quotes here so this will make sure that it displays whatever x is then it's going to go x plus one becomes x and then loops again so it goes up to label one so you can try those out make sure they work if you have any questions just put them in my comments because this is the first video I've ever made doing this so you know I hope it's easy to understand and if it's not, let me know what I can do to improve it. Maybe some more examples, whatever. Just let me know. All right. So the next, I've got two more examples. The same thing. I'm going to start off here by clearing home and setting x to 0. And now I'm going to be using a while loop. While loops are probably the main loop you're going to be using because you can. it's a conditional loop. Instead of saying go to 1 like I did in the past, go to a label, and that just repeats indefinitely, I can have multiple different things happening in a while loop. I can be getting user input if I want to. Um, I can have it end at a certain time. I can't do that with a label unless I have multiple labels. So this just makes it easier. All right, while 1 is just an indefinite loop. There's, It's just saying while 1. Um, it'll do everything between the while and the end. 
you can change this later on and I'll show you but a while loop it runs until it sees end then it goes back up to the while and repeats so here start with the while it outputs similar to above uh, at 4 down 7 across it displays X X adds and then it goes back up hits end it goes back up to while repeats so it's just another counting program that's all I've done you know in this first lesson in the next section if I can scroll this down uh. alright yeah in this next section I've got a con I've added a condition to the while so it clears home zero, you know, x is zero, and now I'm saying while x is less than or equal to, and you're going to be using the less than or equal to sign. That's in you hit second math, and it you'll it'll give you options either equal, greater than, greater than equal to, all those. Um, I just can't write that out in Notepad, so just think of that as the actual sign as opposed to leq. So while x is less than or equal to 100, and there's no spaces like this when you write the program. I'm just doing this so you can see it easier. There's, it'll, you know, be the sign x, the less than or equal to sign, and then 100. No space. So basically it's saying while x is less than or equal to 100, exactly as it says, it'll do everything in this loop. So it'll count, it'll display x, x will add to 1, and as soon as x is not less than or equal to 100, so once it reaches 101, it will not do this loop anymore. The program will end.